So ladies and gentlemen, today is your FIFA 21 reveal recap episode. Today we're going to be going over everything you need to know about what EA announced for FIFA 21 yesterday. I'm going to be doing a little bit of a trailer breakdown, also going over a few things EA put on their website about FIFA 21. Pretty much covering everything you need to know, so I hope you do enjoy. So even though we've got over 165,000 subscribers on the channel, there's still a big majority of you guys watching the videos but not subscribed. If you want to know all the latest FIFA news and FIFA 21 stuff, make sure you subscribe today. Join the other side. So I noticed that I got a new channel member, so I wanted to say thanks to Nick for your support. If you want to become a channel member as well, check out the join button. If you can't find that, I'll leave the link. Basically, you're helping support the channel, but you also get an exclusive icon next to your name when you comment as well. So this is your FIFA 21 reveal trailer. I cropped out all the Madden parts, so you don't have to see that, but I'm going to try and slow it down a little bit. So if you haven't watched the full trailer, make sure you go and check that out first. This will be just a broken down, you know, a review of it, seeing if we can spot anything new or different with this trailer. I don't think there's going to be much because it was literally just a little bit of a glimpse. No actual gameplay as well, just a bit of CGI like we uh, are used to. So no, no actual gameplay that you're going to see today. First things first, we've got uh, Dortmund versus PSG there. I don't know if there's any new faces here, I don't think so. But yeah, nothing really new here, you know, nothing to see. Just a guy doing some mad dribbles, you know, all that kind of stuff. And then you got Mbappe with a little bit of sweat. Looks like there's rain on the camera as well. And we've got some heartbeats, and then we've got a penalty run-up. Is this new? I don't even know. I don't know anymore, man. Is this? I don't know if they're new or old, man. I just know that Mbappe is about to take the penalty and he's going to slot at home. And then we've got a clip at Real Madrid's home ground. And a lot of people were saying, you know, is Real Madrid going to partner with Pez? It looks like they might not be because, you know, EA is using the branding in their trailer. So I don't think it's going to be happening the way people thought it was going to be happening. So it looks like they've got another deal. Um, but Atletico Madrid is there as well. But basically, it's a volley from Hazard. So volleys will be in FIFA 21. That is confirmed news right there, boys. So look forward to that. And then we've got some clips of uh, Dortmund Stadium as well. This is real life. It's not in-game footage. So maybe this thing here, this uh, T4, is going to be in the game. I don't know. But uh, it's just trying to show you the atmosphere. And then we move on to this thing, which I believe is FIFA gameplay. Not actual gameplay, but like a, a cutscene or something outside of Anfield. And you've got the cop there, um, people walking through as well. You've got the museum, the cop bar, some fans there as well. So this could be a new outside of the stadium cutscene. I don't really know at the moment. Could be just a cinematic thing for the trailer. And then we go inside the ground and we've got Liverpool scarves. You'll never walk alone. Also the fans. I mean, if you take a look at that model there, it doesn't really look like a next-gen model, you know. So I don't know if it's going to be any good. Maybe the fans will look pretty much the same. But maybe atmospheres will be getting a big boost in FIFA 21 on next gen anyway. This is all for the next gen, I believe. So this is also Mbappe celebrating a goal. I've noticed that the rain is on the cameras. I don't know if that's a new feature. Don't really take notice of that. But maybe it will be something in the game when you're watching replays or something with the cameras. Uh, you'll see rain on there. And then we've got a clip here, Man City versus Tottenham. One guy goes to the ground and then you've got the bus taking the players. This is our real life clips again. Yeah, that's Real Madrid. So yeah, they're using Real Madrid fans as well in the trailer. So Partnership with Pez doesn't look like it's going to be happening, but the only thing I'm getting out of this is that the atmospheres are going to be improved in FIFA 21 because that's what they're basically showcasing. Like, it's all about the fans, it's all about, you know, the atmospheres. And then you've got this tackle here, which is pretty pointless, doesn't really mean much. And then you've got this scene here, which is a fan in the stadium celebrating. And this is apparently Portland Timbers, and this is inside their stadium. So the only new thing I can get out of this is that we're going to have the Portland Timbers Stadium in the game, as seen in this FIFA 21 trailer right there. So look at the atmosphere as well. You've got green mist or something there as well. So like I said, it's it's basically for, you know, big improvements for the atmosphere. And then you've got Henderson celebrating. And then that's basically the end of your FIFA 21 reveal, minus the Madden clips. You've got next level sports, feel next level, gameplay in development. And we're still running with the Frostbite engine right there as you can see frostbite on the bottom right so no new engine no unreal engine all that kind of stuff we're sticking with that frostbite engine so even though the trailer didn't reveal much we've got some extra info that ea put on their website which will give us more information about fever 21 what to expect from it and also further news coming down the road we're also going to talk about pre-orders as well soon so this is their website nextlevel.ea.com fill next level pretty much the same old stuff play next level Keep scrolling down. The first new feature for FIFA 21, feel the game controller haptics. Sense the impact of shots, passes, catches, kicks, tackles, and hits with immersive controller haptics. A new DualSense controller on PS5 with rich and responsive haptic feedback deepens the gameplay experience, letting you feel the rhythm of the game in your hands. So it looks like this is going to be exclusive to PS5 because it has that haptic feedback on the controller. So maybe you want to buy a PS5 instead of an Xbox 
to feel that sort of thing because I don't think you can get that on the Xbox. To sum it up, the vibrations on the controller are going to feel more realistic, I guess. Fast to the field, blazing fast load times. This is also another important thing because FIFA menus are laggy. But with the SSDs in the consoles, I did expect, you know, menus to load quicker, the game to load quicker, all that kind of stuff. So it says here, faster load times get you in the game quicker than ever. Never lose focus as stadium environments will load with unprecedented speed, letting you get to the kickoff in seconds. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Next level here. Keep scrolling down. More detail lit next level everywhere. Does that even make sense? I don't know. Deferred lighting and rendering. Authentic new environments unlocked by a new deferred lighting system creates ultra-realistic football experiences and player fidelity, enhancing the game in every part of the stadium. So you're going to see much improved lighting. Maybe the sun shadows will be better. The sun rays onto the stadium will be more realistic. Even at night time, you'll see maybe better lighting, as you can see with that part of the trailer there. So that's pretty cool. That's also something to expect. I think with ray tracing, I think that's what they call it. So yeah, you'll see better lighting. Detailed to separate the best from the rest. Reimagined player bodies. Next-gen technology creates deeper definition in player physiques, while dynamic lighting accentuates details such as faces, hair kits, and uniforms to take athletes to a whole new level of realism. So pretty much, you're going to see more realistic player movement, body structures, and also the kits might sit better on the, on the players. Faces might look a bit better, you know, that kind of stuff. It also mentions dynamic lighting there. So I presume, basically what we're talking about there, that the lighting is going to make the players look better, more realistic, I don't know. Next level audio, immerse yourself in the sound of the stadium, spatialized audio. Whether you're running out of the tunnel in Atlanta or leaping into the stands in Green Bay, hear the spine-tingling roar of the stadium thanks to spatialized audio technology, new to Madden that wraps around you for a completely immersive experience. Is that going to be in FIFA as well? Because they didn't mention FIFA, but I don't know, maybe it's not in FIFA, they didn't say anything there. Realism reimagined stats-driven player movement. So the first bit is for Madden, this is the FIFA part. Enhanced animation technology in FIFA enables you to experience ultra-responsive and realistic player movement. I can't wait until the bugs and the glitches expose this promise right here. We'll see what happens with this one over the next few months. Emotion is everything. Off-ball humanization. From adjusting shin pads. Alright boys, new feature confirmed. The players will be touching their shin pads. In the 89th minute as well. To screaming for passes in the end zone, player humanization unlocks the most authentic character behaviors ever seen in sports video games, letting you see the detail and feel all the emotion of football at the highest level. So yep, shin pads are confirmed for Fever 21. Next level atmosphere. That's what I was talking about in the trailer analysis as well. So you've got the Liverpool fans there. It's in the game. Game day immersion. New contextual player bench and fan reactions let you feel the explosive passion of a last minute winner or a game clinching touchdown. And pre-game cinematics deliver an unprecedented match day experience to immerse you in the sights and sounds of professional football. So that Anfield cutscene that we saw before was probably the pre-game cinematics. And the Portland celebration with the fans in the ground was probably a last minute winner or something like that. 4K screenshots, we'll take a look at that soon. And then you got your pre-order stuff, dual entitlement, we'll talk about that soon as well. All right, so it's time to take a look at these 4K screenshots here. Now, it's probably best if you have a 4K monitor or something, you can pop them up and take a look for yourself. But the first thing I noticed, I don't know if this is like a Fever 20 thing as well, but I saw a lot of arm hairs on the players. It's super detailed, super rich stuff. Also on the kits, you can see the holes as well. It's not bad, but a bit of player sweat there. Reminds me of the NBA 2K trailer with the sweat on the guy. Um, but yeah, I noticed that arm here. I don't know if that's in Fever 20. But uh, yeah, Brady there. And then we've got Mbappe hitting... The penalty. Don't really notice too much difference like people were saying between PS4, PS5. But I mean 4K will look good when you're playing the game. So you might want to invest in a 4K TV to notice some real graphical differences. And then there's Van Dyke winning a header there. And then finally we've got a screenshot of Anfield. And uh, this is basically one of those pre-game cinematics that we spoke about earlier. You've got fans taking selfies and stuff. Super detailed, which is nice to see. But obviously, screenshots and trailers don't really mean much. We need to see the proper gameplay to get a good idea of how this game is going to feel. All right, so it's time to talk about pre-orders because we've got some information here as well. So pretty much, you can get it for PS4, Xbox One, PC, and it's also going to be on Steam as well. So you can pre-order that today if you really wanted to. So let's say we pick PS4 because I'm sure most of you will go down that path. We'll start with EA Access. So you guys know with EA Access, you can try FIFA 21 like a week before release or something. So you can get a feel for it. It'll be like a 10-hour trial or something. And then your progress carries over when you buy the full version. You can also save 10% on the full game if you decide to buy it. You guys know all that stuff. We'll talk about this a bit later, but let's move on to the Standard Edition. FIFA 21 Standard Edition. 
Pre-order the standard edition and receive up to three rare gold packs, one per week for three weeks. Cover Lone Star item for five matches in foot. Foot Ambassador player pick, choose one of three player items for three foot matches. Special edition, foot kits and stadium items. Release date is going to be 9th of October, so FIFA 21 is officially delayed. It used to be at the end of September, now it's in the 9th of October. So an extra week or two, something like that to wait. Doesn't really make a difference. Hopefully they use that time to fix whatever bugs are going to be in career mode. And then we've got the Champions Edition, which is the next step up from the standard one. Obviously the covers will be uh, confirmed later on as well. Pre-order FIFA 21 Champions Edition and receive three days early access. So this will be coming out on the 6th of October. Up to 12 rare gold packs, one per week for 12 weeks. Cover star loan item for five foot matches. This one is a brand new one, career mode homegrown talent. A local youth prospect with high world-class potential. A lot of people are interested in this one because they don't really know what's going on. EA have never put a career mode uh, perk into the pre-order bonus and it's basically Scout Future Star just changed a little bit and you have to pay for it. So I don't think there's going to be much incentive there to pre-order this but unless you want the three days early access you will get it anyway so it doesn't really make a difference. Foot Ambassador Player Pick, choose one of three player items for three foot matches, special edition foot kits and stadium items. So that's basically that one and then we've got the Ultimate Edition which is pre-order before August 14th, 2020 and receive limited time bonus and untradeable foot 21 ones to watch item, three days early access, up to 24 rare gold packs, two per week for 12 weeks, cover star loan item for five matches in foot, career mode homegrown talent, foot ambassador player pick, special edition foot kits and stadium items. All right, so that one is also on the 6th of October. Now we also need to talk about dual entitlement which is going to be important entitle fifa 21 on either ps4 or xbox one before the release of fifa 22 and upgrade your game for the equivalent next generation console playstation 5 or xbox series x at no additional cost so we spoke about this in a video i did a couple days ago but pretty much if you buy the game on the ps4 you can upgrade it for free for the ps5 and it works the same for the xbox as well do i have to purchase fifa 21 digitally to benefit from dual entitlement the physical copy of FIFA 21 on PS4 also includes your entitlement to download for the PS5. So you'll still be able to upgrade via dual entitlement if you purchase a next-gen console with a disk drive. So that's for the Xbox as well. If you intend to buy a diskless next-generation console, you will need to purchase FIFA 21 digitally. Otherwise, it will not work if you buy a physical disk for the PS4 and then you buy the PS5 without the disk drive. It won't work, so keep that in mind. Will my progress on PS4 transfer to PS5 or Xbox One to Xbox Series X? All progress you make or content you acquire within foot, including players, items, coins, FIFA points, match record, and leaderboards, as well as all progression in Volta. Do, do people really care about progression in Volta? I don't know. They will transfer from PS4 to PS5 and back or Xbox, you know, that sort of stuff as well. Progress within all other modes, including online seasons, co-op, career mode, pro clubs, will be specific to the console you are playing on and won't transfer between consoles. So if you're looking to start a mad career mode save in September or October, sorry, you might have to wait till the PS5 because you won't be able to upgrade your career mode to the next uh, gen. You're going to have to leave it there. What if I upgrade from PS4 to Xbox Series X or Xbox One to PS5? You can't actually do that. You won't get the upgrade. You have to buy the same console upgrade. And that's pretty much dual entitlement. If you've got any questions, uh, just go to the EA website. You can read stuff about that. So finally, we've got some FIFA 21 frequently asked questions. These are important as well. So let's start with this one, the release date. When is FIFA 21 coming out on PS5 and Xbox X? There's no date at the moment for that. When is FIFA 21 coming out on PS4, Xbox One? We spoke about that earlier, October 9th. And there's also the play first trials and stuff. They're going to start on October 1 for EA Access people. When will you talk about FIFA 21 on PS4, Xbox One and PC? We'll have more to share over the summer. These are important dates. So the upcoming feature news, all coming in August apparently. Gameplay, then career mode, then Volta, Pro Clubs and then Ultimate Team. So they're going to be your articles about new features about each game mode. That's when we're going to get proper information. Dual entitlement, what does that mean? We spoke about that already. When do I need to redeem by? You can redeem all the way up to the release of FIFA 22. Will my progress carry over? We spoke about that. Do I need a disc? Um, we spoke about that. How do I pre-order? I mean, we know about that one already. What is the new career mode homegrown talent pre-order benefit? The new homegrown talent pre-order benefit is the Scout Future Star in the catalog. Basically, we're charging for it now. I mean, I'm joking, all right? It says, uh, this will automatically assign a local youngster with world-class potential to the first club you choose to manage in FIFA 21 career mode. 
the player's nationality will correspond to the country of the league in which you're managing. So, I mean, it's just Scout Future Star, literally just with the nationality of the player. Is the career mode homegrown talent pre-order benefit one time only, or will it be usable in every new save? This pre-order benefit will apply to every new save you start on your profile. It will carry over from PS4 to PS5 and Xbox X. So, yeah, the only good thing about this is that it's not going to expire after you use it once. You can use it each save you have. Which version of FIFA 21 will be available on PC? FIFA 21 on PC will be the same version as released on PS4 and Xbox One. So the PC version of FIFA 21 will not be a next-gen edition. You can also pre-order FIFA 21 through Steam as well as Origin on PC. FIFA 21 on Stadia, there's no info about that yet, but it'll be later this year. Nintendo Switch, this is also another important one. Nintendo Switch will be a legacy edition once again. It just features the latest kits and squad updates for the upcoming season. No new game modes or gameplay innovations there. So if you're going to buy it for the Switch, I wouldn't really bother. Is there any news on crossplay? Allowing our players to play against each other on whichever platform they play, FIFA on is a long-term goal of ours. At this moment, we don't have any news, but we're continuing to investigate its integration and we'll share any updates when we have them. So every other game had crossplay announced except FIFA this year and maybe Madden as well. What about any changes to the football season? Will these be reflected in FIFA? We are in constant communication with our club and league partners around the world. Uh, we will continue to lie, lie eyes or something with them as they work through their plans for the upcoming season. So that's pretty much all you need to know about FIFA 21 right there. Let me know what you thought of the reveal, any of the features mentioned today. Make sure you check out this FIFA video. Hit the card in the middle. It'll take you right there. I'll see you next time.